All right, and I'm not allowed to say what it is. It's a surprise. She's going to give away the secrets. Don't give away the secrets. So there will be a group participation part of this. Um, you will need your cell phone out. For this group, I know that's very difficult, but you will need your cell phone out. Um, my Twitter and all that neat stuff is up there. So uh, I teach primarily statistics. So that means on a daily basis, I need real, authentic, but quick data. I mean, I have a lot of different toys, a lot of activities, but I need data on the fly, something that's meaningful, something that we can talk about. Um, but cell phones, and I use cell phones in my classes often, there are a lot of different apps, different little, uh, little websites that will let you collect data in a very quick fashion. We do one that is a stopping distance applet where the kids just press a button and tell what your reaction time was. Uh, we do others that are short and snappy games. But I'm going to show you one today that some of you will get addicted to, and it's also great to use in bars. Um, so this is where you're going to use your um, this is where you're going to use your phone. We're going to go to a site called HowOld.net. Some of you have used it before. I showed some people in California this one. How-old.net. Um, and because, Lisa, I think we're a little bit behind, too, uh, we're going to make up time in the air. You have 45.7 seconds to experiment with this. Uh, but you get an interface like this, and you're going to go to this button that says use your own photo. And you can upload a photo or take a selfie or turn to your neighbor and take a picture of them. And this app or this site will estimate how old you appear. Oh, this is scary, huh? You have 40 seconds to try that. Turn to your neighbor, take a picture of them. Then I will tell you what I do with it. Is it not open? Yeah. Yeah. You take your selfie, turn to your neighbor. It also catches the people behind Yes. You will find some neat things about this one. What did it say about you, Lisa? Lisa doesn't want to say. Lisa, Lisa says she's 31, so it overestimated her. I think two years ago, I think it said it was I know, I'm going to You have 12.6 seconds left to experiment with how old I'm at. What did it say? It's kind of fun, right? I was tweeting while he was talking, so... One of two things will happen. Either you will make people feel very good about themselves, because we'll underestimate, or you will frankly piss someone off because it will say that they are 20 years older than they really are. Yeah. I'm 23, boom! That's oh, there you go. So, so here's what I do with this. I don't even remember. So here's what I do with this in my classes. So this is a wonderful opportunity to collect quick data. So in my classes, I had my students and I took them around the hallway and I said, oh, I lost the room. Single people, single people. Okay. So on the first week of school, I sent all my kids around the building and I said, you need to record actual age versus uh, the how old about that age. And the problem is all my students in my ninth grade classes are 14 or 15 and that's not very interesting. So I said, find all the adults, find any aides, find any teachers who aren't teaching. I had a group of students barge into administrative meeting and get pictures of everybody. But then we looked here, the yellow dots are all the adults. We looked at the differences between the perceived age and the actual age, and we did it for students as well, and we're looking at the variability between the two groups. What else can we do with this? We can also look at, we can do a scatter plot. What is your actual age versus what is your how old.net age? And we've superimposed the line y equals x on top of here. What does it mean if you're above the line? What does it mean if you're below the line? What does it mean if you're on the line? And now we have inroads to regression. And just something very short and snappy that we can collect data with, and have meaningful discussions with and have a lot of fun at the same time, because that's what stack class is supposed to be about. Here's another one, and this is where my AP stack kids got involved. So you can also look at differences. So what if you're just in your hotel room taking a picture? By the way, this thing always overestimates my age, always. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a day over 24. Um, but you can look at this, or you can see what happens if you change your features a little bit. Which I don't, I have no explanation for why I appear older. Versus, what happens if you put in your grumpy face? <laughs> and you can look at all these differences. I put my hair up and you gain 12 years. You gain 12 years by putting your hair up. Awesome. Yeah. I stuck my tongue out and it took off 20. Yeah, there's little things we found. Wow. We found little things like putting on hats doesn't help. Uh, but there are other little things that how old that net will. And there's a little link on the bottom that tells you its procedure, how it does it. And it's really interesting viewing. It's mostly YouTube videos. And I'll just leave you with this. Some of you discovered that you can take a picture of a whole group and it will attempt to uh, assess the room. Christopher's not here. He left, right? And he's right up front and center. But thank you very much. Have fun with it.